the seven stages to achieve eternal bliss. A uh, few words about the movie. Well, one thing is wonderful there, perfect. The title. When you hear that, you say, oh, I must see this. Even if it's not something I will put in practice, I need to get a subscription or see about it. Just like uh, I was thinking, um, now that they send various offers for clubs, club subscription, we, I used to have a subscription for the past, I don't know, 20 years. In, in fact, I was going there, I had been going there before the club existed. There was just a swimming pool in a hotel built by Ceausescu. Uh, now they took over it and it's been called the world class. <laughs> Fuck yeah, world class. And they have so many problems, but that's in a different series of videos. Uh, stories from the sauna and pool. Coming soon. Subscribe now. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, and the model there is... Um, uh, we send you the offer and the, the, like they try now. It's true, the poor guy, people are with a the pandemic. They do have a problem in their hands. And we have a problem not being able to go there. Um, but the idea is that many, most... Uh, think okay, it's 2021 is approaching. I better get a membership card and next year, in the first week, well, first few days, January the 3rd, if not the third, uh, I'll go. But they don't, most don't go at all. Um, so, seven stages of achieve, to achieve eternal bliss. A bizarre movie. Uh, let's just stop here. I mean, if um, uh, if you're still watching me, I don't know why you could see I'm just off the rails. Uh, because that's the way these work. But also, uh, because there's no there there as they keep using uh, this term in terms of um, fraud, conspiracy. Um, there is nothing, there is no fraud. The very stable genius has lost the elections. Um, and it, what can I say? It's supposed to be funny in, a, in an outre, um, strange way. Uh, people coming from a cult and uh, trying to commit suicide in a bathroom, in the bathtub, in the bathroom. Um, some outrageous rituals of some kind for people with a sort of a spiral on the drone on the head. Uh, is it funny? Well, not in the least. It's annoying it was for this viewer. And, in fact, if you're thinking uh, seriously about this, there are ways, there are, there's first of all positive psychology, science launched in 2000. I have some videos on that, by the way, if you're interested, you can find them on the blog, whatever. Um, there are even some registered with Udemy. Uh, <laughs> And then, of course, better still, I mean, this is what you should do. You can find on the on YouTube, uh, free of charge, among many other options, uh, the uh, videos posted by Harvard University, no less, uh, Positive Psychology, Tal Ben-Shahar, the most popular courses ever. And there you get how to become happier, happier, positive, more optimistic people live longer, have better professional, private lives. Those around them are the same. Uh, speaking of this pandemic, uh, studies have shown that they get sick less often. And when it happens, uh, they're more resistant, resilient. Uh, it keeps them sick for, for fewer days, for a shorter time, and so on. So the benefits of this benefit is huge. And there are things you can do. There are rules, there are books, uh, books by this 
a wonderful professor, Tal Ben Chahar again, Sonia Lubomirsky, the How of Happiness, with 12 rules of which you can pick. Uh, be grateful, that's, that's with all. Um, count your blessings, or gratitude exercise, depending on who you ask uh, at, the, at the end of a weekend or every day. At the end of the day, you write, write down three, five things uh, which, uh, for which you are grateful. Uh, major things, uh, as Tal Ben Jahan writes on his, in his diary, God, family, friends, but you can also uh, be thankful for small things like a uh, good movie, not uh, seven stages, though. <laughs> the humorist, I recommend, I've seen a few days ago. <laughs> be positive, do not compare yourself with others, or again, if you listen to some experts, compare with those who have less. Uh, that's H. L. Mencken, a wonderful, wise, uh, uh, amusing thinker. Uh, wealth is having a hundred dollars left more at the paycheck than your your wife's sister's husband, because studies have shown that we tend to compare with others, and that's the source of of misery, of unhappiness. And it's, uh, they've studied this and so much more. Uh, the lottery winners, you win a million dollars, but then when you think, oh, that's, I made it, I'm happy. No, for a few months, an increased level of happiness, but then you return to a base level. And with this, uh, with comparing with the rest, uh, they ask people which they would choose. Uh, I don't remember the exact figures, but the scenario is true, so you get the picture. Uh, would you rather have uh, $80,000 a year while the rest have 66, 65, the, the rest in the neighborhood, in the organization? Or would you have $120,000, much more? 50% more, okay? But the rest have 140. So think which, which uh, scenario people would, would vote for. They would rather have less money, but more than the rest. 80,000 rather than 120,000, because uh, in the first they will be on top of the, <laughs> the top of the world, the ladder, and the rest. Okay, so uh, you see what I mean. <laughs> Try one of these if you want to achieve a ton of bliss. Never mind these seven stages. Uh, uh, search on YouTube for uh, these um, books, lectures I mentioned. If you want my opinion.